Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. On the last episode, we started going north of Cerulean City up Route 24 where the Nugget Bridge was located at. We had to do a challenge where we had to defeat five trainers on the Nugget Bridge to earn a golden nugget, which was a lot of money. But in the process, we lost Rebecca to a very critical hit, Karate Chop. Uh, so we had to put her away. We brought out Briarwood just because we needed Pokemon in our spaces. And after reaching the end of the Nugget Bridge, we ran into another Team Rocket member and defeated him. And we also found a trainer that was giving up and gave us his Charmander, named, which we named Roy. So we now have a nice full party of people. Uh, Briarwood and Roy are really underleveled right now. <laughs> Daisy is actually, you know what? Right now, Daisy is the perfect level we need her to be. So yeah, even Jock and Jolt and I'm like are a little underleveled, if not the proper level. Daisy's perfect right now, so I don't think we need to train her. We'll we'll bring her out if we need to. Like if there are like dangers we're gonna run into, I was told I should probably train a little bit. I probably should, but I kind of want to get to the end of Route 25 this episode. Which, speaking of which, as soon as we go over here, we're now on Route 25. So this is a completely new route. I mean, we could just check by looking at the map. No, never mind. We're still in Route 24. <laughs> Where's Route 25 at? Now are we in it? Now we're in it. All right. I don't know where the change was, but I think it's just this thing of grass right here. Now I got to know. I have to know now. Nope. I can't tell. It's somewhere here. Let me just move forward. That's right here. I think. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> After all that, I don't care. All right, so we have a little bit of a hedge maze here. We got two trainers. Both of which look to be... I'm going to... I'm guessing, and I by guessing, I mean I know. They're both hikers, so... <laughs> Jock might not be the best Pokemon to send out first. Let's send out Imlik first. And we'll keep Daisy in standby. Briarwood and Roy, I probably should start training a little bit. In fact, you know what? No, that's stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm like, there you go. Let's fight this trainer, and then let's catch a Pokemon. Ooh, there's another trainer right there. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I'm ready. I'm afraid. <laughs> He's ready, I'm afraid. Hacker wants to fight. All right. What does he have? He has a Machop, which is a new Pokemon we haven't seen. Just like Mankey we saw last episode, who killed us in one hit. Uh, Machop is also a fighting type. I mean, he's flexing right now. Kind of easy to tell. Thankfully, confusing is super effective against psychic types. Poison, uh, fighting types. It's early in the morning. <laughs> uh, so apparently the critical hit stat is based on the speed of the Pokemon. So the higher the speed, the better chance to get a critical hit. It's completely broken in Generation 1. I'm like leveled up! Generation 1 is, is very broken. <laughs> I was about to use Geodude. Uh, you know what? I will. I'm going to do this. I'm going to send out Roy. Which is dumb. It's very dumb. Because ground type is super effective against fire. So... I'm just asking to get killed, but I'm going to send out Daisy, which is also dumb because poison is super effective because uh, ground is super effective against poison as well, but I have double kick, so it doesn't matter. And she's my strongest Pokemon. I'm just doing this so I can get Roy some experience. Plus, I don't think Geodude knows any ground or rock type moves just yet. There we go. Daisy gained 138. Roy gained 138. Not enough to level up, though. You worked hard. $525. I think there's a secret item right here. I thought. There it is. I was correct. I knew it was around here somewhere. All right, you know what? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm always afraid when I get to the patch of grass. And it's like, all right, who's going to be my next best friend? 
Yeah, I might could be out first. All right, new best friend. I I have I have a hope. But I really should stop hoping about what Pokemon I catch. Otherwise, I'll just be disappointed. Come on, come on. Yes, Oddish. So, we've, we've seen an Oddish before. We can catch this Oddish. Oh, uh, you know what? Would that even, does any of this affect him? Because I know some Pokemon, depending on their type, are immune to certain status effects. Oh, it actually worked. <laughs> All right, Oddish is asleep, which means that for two to five turns, Oddish can't do crap. So I'm just gonna toss a Pokeball at it. Because I don't think I'm like, it would actually escape. I uh, woke up. All right, well, fine then. You know what? I'll sleep out of you again. And I'll switch to a different Pokemon. One that won't kill you in one hit. Like I assume, uh, I assume the, uh, whatever your move is. Confusion. <laughs> still early in the morning. But he's still asleep. Maybe I can get a hit in. I'll just do a tackle. I don't have tackle. I'll do a gust. Good thing Gus is not flying type. All right, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. He's still asleep, which helps. Helps helps when it comes to capturing it. All right, that's good enough. He's still asleep. All right, uh, ba 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 ba. Uh. Oh, it was so close, and that's exactly what it said. He's still asleep. All right. Oop, I clicked out. All right, come on. I have three Pokeballs left. You should have been caught last time. There we go. All right, we got a new best friend. And he's a grass poison type, which is great. He's a weed Pokemon. And may be mistaken for a clump of weeds. If you try to yank it out of the ground, it shrieks horribly. I want to give a nickname to Oddish. Uh, sure. I have no idea what I want to name him. Uh, yeah, I'm falling into the trap where I'm <laughs> I'm running into Pokemon that I don't know what to name. Uh, you know what? Just just because it's fun. Just because it's funny. Oh, I can do a space. Awesome. His name is Snoop Snoop Dog. <laughs> It's Snoop Dogg, right? Yeah, it totally is. All right, Snoop Dogg was transferred to someone's PC. Get it? Because he's the weed Pokemon. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, 420 is in 18 days. <laughs> I don't smoke. I just like the I like the jokes. <laughs> All right, I'm heading back down because some Pokemon got some Pokemon got hurt. I don't mention Snoop's in the PC now. He should be in box one and not in the dead box because that'd be very disturbing. Plus, I need to buy some more stuff, because I, I just used three Pokeballs to catch one Pokemon. And we have a lot of other Pokemon that we're going to be going through. I could put Snoop in the party. It would be better than Briarwood, since Briarwood only knows Leech Life. Briarwood can use some love, though. Let's see, I look leveled up. Let's put Roy in front, just so we can get some experience. We're, we're gonna rely on him. Not this next fight. Not this next gym, either. Because uh, this next gym kind of sucks for him. But, I mean, I want him to be part of the part of the team. I want him to be a long-standing member of the team. I have a lot of money. Oh, yeah, because I sold that, I sold that uh, nugget last episode. Let's get a couple more potions. There we go. Can I get any... I can't buy Pokeballs here? Really? I can. I just didn't... Right, let's get five more of those. Alright. <laughs> I'm trapped by a person in a Pokemon. Route 25. I want to I want to finish you off today. It's been ten minutes, though, and we fought one trainer and caught one Pokemon. So... Unless we speed run through this place, but that just get one of our Pokemon killed. I could train a little bit, but I kind of want to reach the end. I could train next episode, because there's little to nothing going on next episode other than what's at the end of Route 25. I have a plan. I have a perfect plan. 
He might not hit the gym in episode 16, though. Okay, this is the guy's new. He's also a, uh, a hiker, so uh, maybe I should... Maybe I should... Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. The Daisy will come out. You're going to see Bill first. Let's fight. Hello, hiker. Oh, you have one Pokemon. And it's an Onix. And it's level 17. Roy, you're getting out of there. All right, good thing. See, Daisy's the perfect level. She's above level of Onix. And this should hurt. Ah, oh, use Bind. Fine, I'll never attack. Thank God it wasn't Bide. <laughs> I gotta be careful of Bide. It, you know, it might just be... It might just be because Brock gave away Bide as a TM. That's why Onyx knew it. Which I hope is the case. Alright, now it's Bind. Again. What sucks is that I can't... Really? I can't move when I'm being binded. So I can't switch out Daisy if she starts getting low health, which she currently is. Sucks that Onyx goes before me. I have potions. I'm fine. Wow, we got a five-turn bind? Thank God I went. All right, if he binds me again, I'm going to use a potion. Refractive hit the enemy two times. Use a tackle. Ooh, all right. Uh, time for a potion. Me back into the green. I might use another potion. It missed! No, the perfect time. Dude! <laughs> Alright, well, I know I can't do anything, so potion it is. This turn is a guaranteed I can't do anything. It's a minimum two. Alright, it's three. There we go. Wow, you were annoying! But we got rid of you, and you should give us a lot of experience. Please level up, Roy. Roy leveled up! Daisy, Daisy gonna level up. Daisy leveled up. Daisy's trying to learn Poison Sting. Ooh, she had, she didn't know this yet. But Daisy can't learn more than four moves. I will delete an old move to get rid of Poison Sting because she'll get stabbed from this. Goodbye, Growl. There we go. Now she has a move that's her type. You're something. Almost six hundred bucks. Thank you for that. All right, so Daisy is still getting higher level and higher level, but she's more of a crutch right now than we're actually trying to use her. We're just using her because she can survive. She's a survivor. And, uh, I don't know, 20... I still say 23. Or 22, I think, is the level I'm going to do whatever I need to do with Daisy. I could go I could go later, but there's a move that happens around 23 that I kind of want her to have. Roy actually leveled up. That was nice. <laughs> Should we give Briarwood some love? I feel like we need to give Briarwood some love. It's the only way he's going to learn new moves is if he actually levels up. Leech Life is a bug type move. So it's not even it's not even effective with Briarwood, who's poison and flying. Should be another item, I think, here. Or not. I'm just thinking of something else. We got a guy right here. This is probably just a youngster. Or a bug catcher. Or a junior trainer. Local trainers come here to practice. I almost said fight. I thought I was going to say fight. <laughs> it's a youngster. It's a rat to level 15. Go, Briarwood! All right. Bye, Briarwood. <laughs> You're going out. You know what, Joel? You go out. You can get some experience, too. You need it. You're the one I need to work on. Eee, that hurt a lot. Hurt him more. He got him down to the gold. Okay, now I gotta be careful. I'm switching out. <laughs> I'm like, you could... Can you take a couple hits? No, Daisy still has the most health. I'm like, you are the highest though. Wow, the, the love for this fight is gonna be spread a lot. Yeah, that was very close. Ooh, wow, that quick attack did nothing. Had, had Jolt been out for that quick attack, it might have killed him. 
because of the tail whip. 60 experience each. Youngster's about to use a Spearow. Uh, yes, I will. Jolt's still affected by it. Uh. You know, I'll keep Armlock out. No, that's a bad idea. Why did I do that? I forgot I forgot Spiro actually knows a flying type move. All right. Uh, uh, Daisy, you're my crutch still. I know, I know, I know. I keep on using her. Oh, okay, he, he used Fury Attack. Which is like... It's like Double Kick, except worse. And it does two to five times before I get a chance to retaliate. Wow, this is going to go the full five, isn't it? Yep, it did. I, I could do Poison Sting. Fighting would be... You know, I would Poison Sting. Critical hit! Right, there's two. All right, that time I went the lowest. Would Daisy survive a five? Just give her another potion. Just on the safe side. All this training we put into Daisy, the least we can do is make sure she stays alive. Another critical hit! And, and Spiro's poisoned! Good job, Daisy. Hurt Spear even a little bit more. All right, we'll finish it off with a scratch. You don't deserve another poison sting. All right, no level ups. You're decent. I beat you. All right, our, par our party's starting to look a little hurt. Let's get some potions in here. I have 12 of them. Why not? I was so I was so eager to give away all my rare candies. Did I? No, not toss. <laughs> if I toss, it'd just be a waste. All right, let's you know let's adjust our party a little bit. Let's switch. Go up there. Daisy, you should be at the very bottom, just because I'm neurotic like this, and they, and they need to be from lower level to higher level. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not switching the order around on the sidebar, because that'd be just very annoying. All right. You're a lass, or a, a new trainer we haven't seen before. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. I didn't ask. <laughs> All right, it's just a lass. Two Pokemon? Neither and male. Hey, we're both poison type. Still don't trust Briarwood out, though. All right, uh, Jock. 16, Jock. That's when you need to hit. Good thing I switched out to you. Not very effective double kicks. Still did a lot of damage, but... I mean, you're not dying from it. I might need to switch out again, though. Ooh, horn attack. Oh boy! All right, switching out. Switching out to I'm like. I'm, just, I'm trying to I'm trying to spread the love here now, and it sucks. I think ooh, is fighting not super effective against Bug? Because this that seemed like it was twice ineffective, which basically means it does a fourth of the damage it should, which is why it only did like one damage to I'm like per hit. At least if Nidoran was around to survive for one more confusion. Briarwood gained 63. Jock gained 63. I'm looking at 63. <laughs> no one leveled up from it. I'll keep I'm looking out. All this trying to get people levels is causing no one to get levels. And this Nidoran did nothing. <laughs> she tried to scratch and missed. I'm like, didn't even level up from that. I'm in a slump. Thank you for the money. All right, Briarwood, well, how close are you to leveling up? You must be very, very close. I hope. 148? Never mind. Jacques is hurt. Great. This is the this is the episode I've used the most potions in. Because I'm so cautious now. I've lost two Pokemon in three episodes. I don't want to keep that streak going. All right, this is a, this is a hiker. So I might need to bring out Daisy for this fight again. I'm about to see a Pokemon collector at the Cape. I think we only have three more trainers after this guy. Or counting this guy. I think it's three. Hiker wants to fight. He has four Pokemon. All right, Geodude first. Level 13. All right, that's a little bit more respectable. 
Typically, if they have one Pokemon, it's gonna be really high level comparatively. If they have multiple Pokemon, they'll all be like a little lower level comparatively. Like the guy that had an Onyx that was level 17. All right, if he's coming out, I'm like has to come out. I'm like in Daisy. You're still getting a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of work right now. I guess the trainers at least. It's probably because we haven't run into anything that's like really weak into fire or electricity. And we're seeing a lot of hikers recently, and we have nothing that's really super effective against those guys. Another Geo dude. I'm should probably level up from this fight, I assume. And he became confused, yay! Oh, he actually hit. Well, it doesn't matter. I like it when my status effects affect the other Pokemon. I don't like it when they affect me. Wow, I'm like it still has still is not leveled up. A bucky change Pokemon. Eh. Why not? I still want to. I, I want to spread the love. And I know Jolt has no. Uh, not Jolt. I know Jacques has no flying type moves, but still it should be not very effective as, if he tries to use anything against me. Although the last time I had a. Last time I had a bird Pokemon out against a fighting type, it didn't end up well. I don't I don't trust it. I, I feel a I feel a critical hit coming. <laughs> I was correct. <laughs> oh come on! Oh he became confused! Please hit yourself. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. No! <laughs> Ooh. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use a potion. You're still confused. So this should still... It should still go again. Hit yourself. Come on. There's a 50% chance. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Yes! I didn't need to switch out another Pokemon. And Jock got his level finally. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like still hasn't gotten his level. Uh, he'll get it. He'll get it here. I hope he's gotten like 400 experience this fight Is he really reaching that point where he's starting to slow down? He shouldn't be reaching I got a critical hit <laughs> Nope, there you go. You're level 18 now. Congratulations. I'm like Ooh, what are you trying to learn now? He's trying to learn supersonic But I'm gonna learn more than four. I have I already have four three status effect moves Not I'm like Supersonic would be nice though I mean, what can I get rid of? Sleep powder, I definitely want to keep. Poison powder. Well, I mean, I already can, can confuse with confusion, so I guess nothing. Yeah, I'll unbat and learning it. I can already confuse. It's just that supersonic is a guaranteed confusion if it ever goes off. You got me. 455. All right. Well, we have another trainer right here. Firewood. Jock. And let's give Jock a potion. So I don't have to walk all the way back. Remember a couple episodes ago, I said I was going to... I was just going to walk all the way back instead of using my potions. Yeah, I kind of already abandoned that. And I want you to walk out to me, mister. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. You mean the one we beat just a couple minutes ago? And don't take that out of context. <laughs> I'm in a trainer fight. It's got a rat to level 14. Briarwood, are you going to get your level up here soon? Gotta, I, Jolt, you're going out. How much damage is this quick attack gonna do? Eh. Another quick attack. Alright, Jolt, you're going out after this fight. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. You're switching out, Daisy. <laughs> if it does anything else to me, it's gonna kill Jolt. Alright, I would have survived. <laughs> I would have survived! Just take that critical hit one kick instead of a double kick. Briarwood leveled up, finally! Level 10! And he learned supersonic! Still can't really do much. Game trainer's about to use Ekans. I will switch out Pokemon. Jock, you're gonna get some more love here. 
I need you to start earning. I need these people to start leveling up so they won't die. Nice critical hit. That's just a poison thing. It does five damage. The only worst thing this Ekans can probably do is rap. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. I could I could pass it up though. As soon as I said it, I was like, I'm gonna have to do this, won't I? There we go. Another critical hit just to rub it in. All right, I think there's one more trainer we get to fight. Aw, oh, darn. Give me that money. How are we doing? Jolt is hurt. All right, Jolt, you get another potion. All right, well, technically, I mean, this guy walked out, and there's a tree up there. So technically, there's an item right here that we shouldn't get until we get, get the ability to cut down trees. But we can get it now because that guy walked out. Now, there is a problem here. If you save the game here and you close it or turn it off and then come back, that guy's going to be standing here again, like right here, and you'll be it'll be impossible for you to get out, which means you just hard lock your game. So I'm going to leave after this. TM19, what is that? All right, I'm out, so I'm safe. I'm safe from being trapped forever. The TM, it contains Seismic Toss. Can any of my Pokemon learn that? Jolt can learn Seismic Toss. Roy can learn Seismic Toss. That's a shame Daisy couldn't. Seismic Toss is a better fighting type move than Double Kick. All right, there's actually two trainers left. Yeah, there is. All right. Well, Briarwood leveled up. Let's get, uh, you know what? I need Jolt to level up. So I'm going to get Jolt in front. I knew I had to fight you. You didn't know I was here until I talked to you. Silly youngster, in your sideways hat. Another Ekans. <laughs> the music just completely stopped there for a moment. Oh, nice! You got you got paralyzed, son. We still haven't seen the effects of paralyzed yet. We've seen it when someone's been asleep. We've seen it when someone's been poisoned. There we go. Enemy Ekans fully paralyzed. He just skips his turn. You don't need a waste of thunder shock now. Please kill it. So that waste of a thunder shock would have went back to been a waste. Jolt, you need to level up here. Okay, I gotta switch out now. Sandshrew. Sandshrew, would Sandshrew know any ground type moves? It's a jock. I know this is stupid. I probably should have just switched over to I'm like, or Daisy, one of the two. I mean, Sandshrew's only ground, so normal type attacks still do something. <laughs> Not a lot. All right, he's an orange, I'm afraid. Scratch, this might put I'm like an orange. No, it didn't, I'm not afraid yet. Just the confusion does way more damage than a quick attack. There we go. I just wanna see, I just wanna see Jacques level up again. Oh, he's so close. I know you're so close. I knew I'd lose too. Well, at least, <laughs> at least you know your place. <laughs> All right. Well, where's Jolt in terms of leveling up? Two hundred and two experience. Where's Jacques in terms of leveling up? One hundred and seventy-six. All right. You know what, Jacques? You get to go in front then, because you're gonna level up in this next fight, which would be very nice. You just need one hundred and seventy-six experience. Yeah, we could do that. One more person before we reach the. I can't see it yet. My friend is a cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, we're gonna beat up your Pokemon. We might have beat up your friend's Pokemon. Who knows? Oddish. Oh! Ah. If <laughs> Jacques knew a flying type move, this would be perfect. Absorb, which is. I think we've seen Absorb before. It's. Yeah, we've seen it before. Oddish used it before in Mount Moon. I don't need to explain it again. I mean, we're going to kill this Oddish. And Jock should level up from it. I might send up Pikachu then to see if, if Jolt can get another level. If I can't be addicted to catching a, a bunch of Pokemon, I should be getting addicted to leveling up Pokemon. 
Jock, there we go! Level 16. No new moves. Last is about to use Pidgey. Oh, perfect. All right, here you go. Here you go, Jolt. This is something you can kill. Just quick attack. Ouch, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That hurt more. Oh, no, you're still alive! All right, I'm using a potion, just in case it gets a critical hit. I mean, I probably could have done a quick attack. That might have been better. Of course, I missed. Wow, look how much damage that Gus did. That doesn't matter there. There we go, Pidgey. Now I get a critical hit. All right, we'll find then. Jolt can 153. Almost there, Jolt. Oddish. You know what? I'll keep Jolt up for the start of this fight. Now, Jolt, you'll level up. Uh... Roy, why did you come out? This is the perfect thing for you. Now that I think about it. And he's not that high of a level, so this would be even more perfect. All right, so... Oddish is fire. I mean, Oddish is grass. Roy is fire. Fire is super effective against grass. I think that was the first move you had Roy use. Roy, this is your first real fight! Kill this thing. Before it kills you. Get a critical hit. It's stealing your health to try and keep its own health. Which is not gonna work. Two more embers and it'll be dead. Unless I get a critical hit. Nope, still two embers though. Bye, Oddish. Roy, are you gonna level up in this fight as well? Probably not. You're only gonna get like 110 experience. Ooh, I was close. He leveled up anyway! Come on, Jolt. You should level up from this. Jolt leveled up as well! Wow, three Pokemon had level ups this fight. Goodbye, lass. I'm not so jealous. Oh, I guess it was 18. All right, well, <laughs> it's nice to be confirmed. All right, well, so I thought something was gonna happen there, but I was completely wrong. But we've reached the house. We've reached Sea Cottage. Bill lives here. So, it took us 33 minutes to get here. Fine with that. I think there's an item around here, but I don't remember where it is. So, I almost went inside the house. That would've been bad. <laughs> so, Jock leveled up twice. Roy leveled up twice. Jolt leveled up once. Briarwood leveled up once. I'm like leveled up once. And Daisy also leveled up once. I think everyone leveled up this, this episode. Nice. So, oh man, the, the, the sidebar edits I have to make. So, we're gonna call it here. We'll be going into Bill's house next episode. We caught a new friend, we caught, we caught Snoop Dogg. <laughs> he was currently resting in the PC. Uh, yeah, and we made our way through Route 25 with a little bit of difficulty, but not that much. So, on the next episode of Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke, we will be entering Bill's house, finding whatever he has to find, or whatever he has to tell us, and uh, then we'll be heading back down to Cerulean City and training our Pokemon for the gym, which we still need to work on Jolt, and uh, I think Jolt's the only one we can really rely on for this gym. We'll still train up everyone else so that they get their levels, but Jolt's going to be our main focus. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.